Since 1967, Stroud Water Research Center has focused on one thing, fresh water. By advancing knowledge and stewardship of freshwater systems through global research, education, and watershed restoration. Learn more at stroudcenter.org. Fresh water has become the most precious substance on earth and streams and rivers are the way that fresh water is distributed to all the organisms that live in our watersheds. And every organism that lives in a watershed requires access to clean fresh water to live. And so streams and rivers are really important and fresh water is the medium that actually uh, perpetuates life throughout our planet. They are part of Earth's perfect architecture, nature's way of ensuring that the rainwater that sustains us flows into the creeks and streams around us. They are called watersheds. And for the scientists who study them, there are many ways to describe how they work. Watershed is an area that contributes flow of water and, and other materials like sediment to a central draining point. And you can think of it like the bathtub in your house. Every drop of water that falls into that bathtub drains down to the central outlet, the drain of the tub. I think of it like a funnel in which all the water that falls on the land is, is deflected down to a common location. And in this case, the bottom of a funnel or a river or a stream. I sometimes describe the watershed as the plumbing of our land, meaning that it's how the land around us receives water from the skies and transports it to lower and lower parts of the landscape all the way out to the ocean. So a watershed works because gravity works. Uh, raindrops fall to the ground. Some of that water percolates down through the soil and becomes groundwater that we might use through a well. Some of that water runs off and becomes streams and streams flow into rivers and that supports the, the fish and the aquatic resources we use. And so it's the shape of the land, the hills, the mountains, that affect where that water goes. So this area is a good illustration of a watershed because the tree line over there is basically the boundary where rain that falls on this side of the tree line all collects and flows downhill with the pull of gravity towards this patch of trees here where the stream is that's draining that watershed. Rainfall that falls outside that line goes down towards a different stream into a different watershed. Unless you're standing in the ocean or uh in the space station, you're standing in a watershed. Uh, basically, everywhere that rain can fall on the land is, is part of a watershed and part of a nested system of watersheds. A watershed can be as small as a single stream in a private backyard, or as massive as the Delaware River watershed, a 14,000 square mile masterpiece of nature. As it makes its way from the Catskills in New York down to the Delaware Bay, the watershed provides drinking water to four major cities, sustains millions of acres of farmland, and is the perfect venue for countless recreational activities. It is the lifeblood for more than 15 million people. But as water travels downstream, it can also encounter a number of potential threats. The waste from cows who are allowed to graze in an open stream, fertilizer that runs off of farmers' fields into nearby creeks, oil and gas that gets washed from a parking lot into the water system, or road salt from a winter storm. You know, unfortunately, the business of society brings a lot of threats to watersheds. People build roads, we build homes, we like lawns, we, we need food, so we have agricultural fields, we have factories, um, chemical plants, all of these things are located in watersheds. The task of restoring and maintaining a watershed's health falls to a number of dedicated scientists and freshwater advocates. At any given time, they're in the field checking for unsafe levels of pesticides and sediments, monitoring the health of rivers as they flow through large cities, 
checking streams for dangerous microscopic contaminants, even enlisting private citizens to assess the quality of the streams that flow through their own neighborhoods. All living plants and animals in the watershed, including humans, require access to clean, fresh water to be alive. That makes water the most precious substance on Earth. It's really important as we look at our watersheds to remember that we, we do have the ability uh, to live, to have homes, to grow food in a way that's protective of our water quality. There is a really famous river scientist, Luna Leopold, who said that the health of our waters is the principal measure of how we live on the land. And what he meant by that is that so much of the quality of our streams and rivers and wetlands and estuaries comes down to how we're living on the land. Not what we're doing in the water, but how we're living on the land.